Good morning comrades, many of you people are quiet off. I'm not complaining but say listen you should get out there, drive the cars, do some reviews and today we are in a very amazing, wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous and most importantly wide Volkswagen T5 van and well Tim has a couple of things to say because he's been driving this bad boy for almost like half an hour by now so what do you think of it? Well I mean it's got a, a strong front end, a uh, good initial turning, starts to wash out mid corner um, I think we just missed our turning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, you get so carried away. I mean, that's it. You know, you just get carried away in the driving experience. I mean, the gear change is smooth. It's got a good, strong motor. It's very effective. Uh, back end likes to wander a little bit, but you know, you can correct that with a bit of trail braking. Um, but overall, nice experience. I like it. Unfortunately, one of the things that you cannot transform or actually transcend on the camera is the way you feel certain things and I'm talking about suspension the way all those amazing dampers swallow those potholes what do you think of it I mean you can carry all the load in the bag like wood mattresses yeah yeah could be useful could be let's hear it through the gear shall we yeah absolutely are we clear that way yes we are let's have a little pull first going, going to the Nürburgring a little bit of traction issues into second Lovely gearbox. Into fourth, let it rip out a little bit longer. The motor is effective. 85 kilometers an hour. It's 90. And that's 100. We're at the speed limit, people. What would you want? I don't know. I mean, the speed limit. So why, why? You don't have to go faster. No, you could. But the thing is, people who drive this type of vans, they get paid by the hour. So why would you go faster? Exactly. I mean, I would like to just add a nice little side out in here. We are experiencing some side winds today. And yeah. I think, you know, the aero on the van could be improved because it's a little bit sway. You feel it on the back end. This anti-roll bar maybe could be a little bit firmer uh, to correct that. Uh, but I mean, overall, it's, you know, it's effective. What, what type of suspension would you recommend? One way, two way, three way, four way? Uh, but it's a T5, you think it would benefit from a 5 way? Uh, JRZ 36 way, 2 okay. step. Okay, yeah, 2 step. Yeah, 2 step. Okay, right now we're passing the Nürburgring and also YouTube famous Brunchen car park. But this van does not like to be parked, it likes to be driven. So we noticed one important thing, by the way, is the stick shift. Yeah, it's, it's practically got a, uh, a race shift to build it in. I mean, it's, it's a smooth. You can, you can actually rev match as well. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can hear that, you ready? Yeah. Oh Seamless. My. Yeah. And the distance between the steering wheel and yeah, stick perfect. shift is actually yeah. so little. So the shifting times is just incredible. Yeah. Nice short throw, accurate as well. Yeah. You, you, you probably didn't notice it because of the, my fine editing skills, but I had to film this in slow motion because you couldn't see how fast you can go from a steering wheel to the stick shift. I think it's also nice to know um, it's got heated uh, mirrors. Yeah. And uh, you can actually hear the relay click. Um, there it goes, and there it goes again. Uh, one thing that could be improved would be a, a permanent sunstrip because these, first of all, they add weight, mm -hmm. which isn't necessary, um, and a nice low sunstrip would be nice. Yeah, you could also maybe like have a big roll cage. Or a roll cage, or both. Both. Yeah. Sunstrip roll cage. Is it? Have you seen the Guy Martin's van? No. You should check, you should check that out. He did a van to do um, some kind of rally across America and it had like 700 horsepower and it was rear wheel drive and it had aero and a big roll cage. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, traction issues oh, again oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Okay. Let's go for a look. Oh, I don't believe it. Ah. Uh, is the nice life closed? Hacks closed, guys. Well, at least we'll have a roundabout so we can take it for a lap around that. <laughs> we feel the lateral g-forces. I mean, we, we got sick after doing one lap, so we had to get off. You can see that this van shows authority. Like, everyone moves out of the way for you. It's great. And after having driven it even more, we noticed a couple, a couple of things that could be improved apart from the suspension. You noticed aerodynamics, DRS could benefit from it. Yeah, I think a DRS would be good, um, because if you could open the rear end up, uh, what would be dual purpose. In crosswinds, it would allow through air yeah. to reduce the sway. And on the autobahn, or the dot in the hall, it would actually give you a higher top speed. Yeah. So that's something which we could definitely look at. Um, and then we're also um, looking at what we could do engine-wise. And the way they make a four-wheel drive version of this van, so maybe what we could do is get like an RS3 engine. 
Mm -hmm. So five cylinder. Five cylinder, preferably still manual. Map it up to like 700, 800 horsepower. Four wheel drive, but then we'd have like a 90-10 split to the rear. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, we'd just go drifting. Yeah, so just go Ken Block. Yeah. But, but right, you, let's drop a you kind of look like Ken Block, so maybe you're already preparing. Here we go, overtake. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, uphill oh. pull. Oh my god. It's gonna be close. We're good. Easy. There is no stress for the van. And that's without an RS3 engine in it. Yeah. It's stock. Yeah, you already have traction issues. So exactly. what, what, what kind of wheels would you put on it? 22 inch? I mean, no, GT3 keep, RS has 21 inch, so we I need keep to... it motorsport. Think, motorsport, yeah. so 17s? 18, I reckon. 18. Nice compromise for this. Yeah. Uh, Full slicks? Well, no, because then you can't do TF. True. Big brake kit, obviously. Front and back. Front and rear. Would you put, put the big brake kit on, on the spare? Yeah, why not? Yeah. It's nice to have a spare, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what we do to it. I think like 10 Recaros in the back for passenger laps. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you need to keep all the space in there for the balls of the driver. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. But if they're on rails, like in an aeroplane, you can quickly remove them, depending on who is driving the van. The balls. No, the seats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that a ski lift? Yeah, there's a ski lift. Yeah, but I don't think it works. Oh my god. See, this is another good thing about the transport, you can see more. <laughs> you can't see these things in an M3 because you sat too low to the ground. Do you know the base price of this van? I have no idea. Probably something, I think around 20,000. I imagine it's good value because it's the people's car. Yeah, absolutely. So. You know like the McLaren, the 675 LT Coupe? The, the roof scoop option was like close to 80,000 euros, I believe, or 70. Yeah. And here you also have a roof scoop, and I think it's... I know, that's yeah. nice access that. Yeah. I'm just trying to think what you'd put in there. Because you don't want it to fall on your head, would you? Yeah. You know, because the acceleration... The true, th true. It's got mm. a lot of torque. <laughs> maybe you can make some kind of net to go over the top to catch it. Lap tickets? Lap tickets, maybe. Mm. Are you time-lapsing? Oh, yeah. Look at that Apex Instagram content. Another great point of visibility. You can just place your phone there. You can. It's made for it. Live stream the whole thing. Full stability. Okay, we've dropped off our goods let's call them that way and since we're waiting until the car behind us moves away we have a bit of a moment um well quite a moment so tom you've been quiet all the time what do you think of it of the van yeah i mean i think it's great <laughs> i mean you know like you say you can take all your mates in the back on a you know tf session tim's been through all the technicalities of the vehicle mm -hmm. good engine solid Tom in so a bit loose on the back like he says but um no great i mean what i would do is i'd get all this done in alcantara yeah I mean, the, the styling. What, what kind of spec would you would you go for? Like the stitching. Stitching. I believe stitching. No, you can't no? do. You can't yeah. do M tri color stitching. No, no, not, not M tri. Just blue. Blue. Just blue stitching. I mean, I'd probably change this. Okay. I'm for not, blue as well. For blue, yeah. I mean, maybe get a couple more. You know, really bunch it up a bit. Yes. Get, some good, get a good blend. <laughs> yeah, to um, soften those. Uh, well, exactly. I mean, trusts. I, I would probably I'd get rid of this. Mm -hmm. I don't think that adds anything as such, but uh, Alcantara dash would be. I would very get nice. um, a GTI steering wheel and then retrim it. And a retrim a nice, GTI. A, a nice addition. A GTI or would you get an R? Well, the same. They are completely the same. same but what about the badge in though? Would you put uh, an R on the bottom? I don't know. I haven't thought about that. Oh, well, you could go full GTI spec and get the tartan seats. You could actually. That would quite could cool. do that. That'd be quite cool. Do you think? Volkswagen should release a transported GTI. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely a gap in the market. It should be also tra not a D like T5R, but I think they will run they into have, copyright issues yeah. with Volvo. They have an R line, don't they? They have a yeah. T5R line. Mm. Yeah. I think that's DSG as well, you know. Does it? Yeah. Hmm. So you can have DSG farts. If you had an RS3 engine, you could. That, that's oh, sure. Absolutely. Would you be able? This is probably one for Tim. This. Would, would, would you be able to put a no. sequential on this? Yeah, DSG. Just full oh, sequential. Oh, sequential gear. Yeah, exactly. So you can power up and down. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. So we're going RS3 engine with sequential gearbox. With 10 seats in the back. 10 seats yeah. in the back. Wicked. On the rails. Get all, get all your boyos in the back for TF. Yeah. That's what you want. That'd be wicked. Would be. Room for the dog as well. I think so. Maybe even two dogs. Maybe two dogs. I also think there's probably enough space in the back there for a small grill. So you know, you do your lap, you know, all the boys get back. 
pull out the barbecue, get yeah. the burgers on the go. That'd be awesome. Lunch sorted. Yeah. Lunch sorted. I mean, all the cars have grills in the front. Yeah. But like Not proper smooth. cars have grills in the back. Exactly. And that goes about. It would be heavy though, wouldn't it? You wouldn't. You you need. Um, well, it has to be gas powered. It certainly couldn't be charcoal powered. Yeah. Then you can oh, also yeah, have it LPG. Yeah. I feel like we could. should integrate the exhaust somehow. Where in? Into the barbecue. Yeah. Okay. Like the smoked salmon. Yeah, yeah, we can do it with your tires if you have 700 horsepower. True, 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 true. Or we'll drive drifts. True. And let's be honest, after this has been tanked around the ring, it's bacon around the exhaust pipe. It's mm. instant bacon. Yeah. Yum. I also like how everything about this van is big. Look at the big wet pencil. The radio is pretty small though, considering... It is. But is it small or is it just, does it just look small in comparison to everything else because it's so big? It's sophisticated. Maybe it's like weight reduction, lightweight radio. Have you seen this as well? What's that? Oh, I can put coffee. I mean, I, I do need a gear stick. It does reduce leg space hmm. considerably, but I mean, it's there if you're traveling alone. Not with three people like we do. And Tim was pointing out just then that the leg room is so great in this van. He didn't even realize it's got a rucksack underneath his leg. Oh, wow. And some toolbox. Yeah, I've got a toolbox here. Okay, cool. What do I have? I have a glove. I've got a glove. And something dear. It's, it's got lots and lots of space. It does. It's you could fit that truck in the back probably as well. It's, it's practical. It's fun. It's fast. It'll be fast when it's got an RS3 engine in it. Yeah, and Aero DRS. Aero DRS. We've already established we're going to get some of that. diffuser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. F-duct. Like some windows. Get rid of the AC, which is constantly on, so it would add more power because it does not load the engine. Yeah. Connect the roof scoop. Well, these, the, these are going, aren't they? Yeah. We need to have smaller mirrors too because they, they like reduce yeah. aerodynamics drastically. I mean, we could have little cameras. Oh like yeah. GT3 car, yeah, camera. And then have us have a screen here for your I mean, left, left and right vision, and also your rear. Will it um, pass? Will it pass too? Of course. Yeah. Probably. Who cares? I mean, it can be just like race car, no oh, registration. Yeah. Well, there is you could save the money that you're going to be paying on tax on this thing and insurance obviously with 700 horsepower, just go full track days. It's an option. I mean, it is an option. You'll be going through tires, so you need to cut costs somewhere. True. What would you do about the wipers? Go for a single one? Single, yeah. Or like a DTM conversion. Yep. Um, single wiper, definitely. I quite like the Mercedes, um, the way the washer jets work on Mercedes because it's um, it's like built into the wiper blade. So instead of it spraying, it just sort of comes out with the wiper blade as you do it. It's quite mm. nice. Maybe we could do that because then it's not affected by this, you know, the velocity of the van. Yeah, that's true. Are we going to go for any carbon? Everywhere. For carbon everywhere. For door cards. Yep. All this. Yep. Okay. And the cup holders need to be cup car. Carbon cup holders, yeah. yeah. Because when you go and start racing this van, you'll be winning lots of cups. So you need the extra yeah. cup holders, probably. Probably. At it's some probably point, a... you might even need to compromise with the space in the back and put the cup holders there. Like cabinet. shelves. Yeah, yeah. It's an option. Until that point, we could probably fit about six in there. <laughs> the very it's small ones. I mean, come on, I have a bit higher expectations than okay. small cups. Well, you know, Roman built in a day, Misha. We've got to start somewhere. Yeah, okay. I know we're not allowed to talk about lap times, but what would you expect? Under 10. Under 10? Yeah, well, definitely under 10. Yeah. With stock spec? Yeah, yeah, stock. I reckon... And once that's 700 horses? Well, under 6. Under 6, yeah, with proper aero and air, DRS. Yeah, yeah. I reckon if we would do like a 940. Mm. Hmm. Then I'm, As it I'm is not right really, now. Yeah, I'm not really up on the, the, the whole van lap time. But, but it should be chipped though, I think. Or do you think stock? No, stock. You but but, but with proper tyres though and brakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, with, oh, with tyres and brakes? Because I reckon that's what I'll give up first, the brakes. Yeah. They also fit a very big fuel tank in the back <laughs> for endurance racing. We could beat the drift record that's just been set by BMW. Oh, yeah. Make your four-wheel drive, then just put a massive fuel tank in the back. And you don't need to refill. Exactly, you just go and go and go. I mean, I don't think it's too late, but we could try and enter into the N24 and do it on one, one tank. <laughs> could do. Uh, but the problem is, I think there's a regulation of the maximum amount of fuel you can carry. Ah, uh, see, so that'd be an issue. Yeah. That'd be an issue. Well, we are back in Nürburgring and this concludes our trip. So, 
what's the conclusion on this vehicle? Um, I think it basically summarizes what the people's car is. It's uh, economical, quick enough, mm -hmm. safe, practical. Um, potential for tuning. Potential for tuning. And yeah. I mean, what, what I'll say is, if, if we do go forward with the mods that we've discussed in this video, I just, it will be a track weapon. I mean, there's no, no two ways about that. Um, excited to see what the future holds for this one, to be honest with you. Yeah, and for that, you need to stay tuned. That means subscribe, like, and absolutely share this video because many, many people, actually everyone in the world needs to know about the awesomeness of this amazing vehicle, Volkswagen T5. Volkswagen, shout out to you. You did a massive, amazing job. You kind of fucked up with the Volkswagen up GTI, but T5 and T6 and every T for that matter. Peace out to the TTs.